I need water. I'm a fish. Water. Welcome. I'm Hawaiian Shirt Papa. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. Hello and welcome to another tour by Hawaiian Shirt Papa. This time it's the Valley Village in St. Catharines. This is a revisit. Uh, the first one was earlier in this series. Now these are the jewels right by the cache. Well, what's left of the cache. This store has gone to self-serve checkout along with many others in the area. So there's less precious uh, jewelry there on the end caps. And then we start off with the larger items of furniture and sometimes there's some electronics mixed in here as well. Furniture, larger light lights. These are some of the other costume jewelry. Up by the cash entrance area. Hard goods, stationary, bagged hard goods. Glassware. Sporting goods, silver plate, other decor items, kitchen utensils, glassware, including this um, cranberry glass etched covered bowl um, possibly salts but more likely candlesticks i didn't see if there was a, a candle holder in the middle off right off the bat there so the ceramics smaller art with larger ones at the top the mugs are on the end cap here glassware, some of for cooking, some decor platter here. They had uh, ceramic sets of dishes there, metallic uh, decor and kitchen accessories. The bagged items, bag notions, electronics, and there's some electrical there and electronics, their book selection. The store was fairly busy so there may be some sections I just couldn't get without having someone in it and I chose to forego those. <coughs> There's the other side, side, side of the books. Now we're into linens, fabrics, sheets, towels, uh, curtains. In general, large sheets of fabric. Some board games there. They have some pillows along the top of these racks. This was a uh, fish-shaped bag, actually quite reasonably priced at $1.50. It's not very big, but it'd be 
good for somebody who just needed to have something for a party. Very nice leather, tooled leather purse. And we continue with the handbags and purses and backpacks. It's quite a selection. Some very interesting designs. And then there's the more run-of-the-mill bags. And it's a bit of a selection of hats. You saw them hanging there. Then we get into these, this piece. It says Love Piece XOXO Shoes. You see some, uh, some of the men's hats are here on the end of the aisle. Some shorts, pink flamingos included. Another Hawaiian shirt themed pair of trunks. And some more. They're more commonly found in swim swim shorts. And the short sleeve shirts. And we do find some Hawaiian shirts here. Penmans, which is a name that's quite common around here in the past. I don't know if they, they're still around. So, there's one. And there's another shirt. I think that's a George. I think we all know where George comes from. Here's some others. And a little more, uh, AE, I think. Oh, was just, uh, there was two there. There's another one. Uh, very large graphics on this one. Might have been a Critelli. Got a small set of patterns. There's an even smaller repeating pattern. There's another large. This was a George. Men's hats were a bit different, especially these. Um, not something I usually find in a uh, thrift store. Uh, there's the store overall. Look at look at it. And there was this meow night shirt. I think it was in the women's section. They do have the self-checkout. They'd only had it a few days at this point. So it's a trend in all of the Valley Villages to end up with uh, self-serve checkouts. Doesn't mean they're absolutely all self-serve, but that's all. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. We'd appreciate a like and perhaps a, a subscribe and a bell. Thanks a lot, folks. Bye-bye.